there is no advanced restart button in this room let's turn off the smartphone use the power button and volume up button to boot into recovery press them simultaneously first you get a poco logo then you can remove the finger on power button one more haptic feedback will be received for you then you can leave the other finger also this is the latest recovery available for poco x3 nfc surya karna whatever you call go to wipe section and select here advanced wipe and select dalvi catch and data and swipe here to wipe it go to home and select install and select the micro sd card and wherever you downloaded the files select that first flash the firmware here you need to flash eea firmware i just forgot to download 12.5.5 ea global version i can flash this old surya eea global 12.5.4 If you want, you can use the latest one. Also, you can flash the same firmware, but use EEA firmware. They always specify in ROS. Go to Home section and select again Install and select here ROM zip file ROS version 12 based on latest security patch. I guess let's see. This is the build latest build available with March 4th, as you can see here. It takes a little bit of time to flash the ROM. Wait until it gets flashed. The ROM zip file has been successfully flashed. Go to Home and select here Wipe section. Select Format Data and type here Yes and press this tick button. Such that formatting data completes. And go to Home section and select Reboot. Go to System. This is the flashing method for ROS with March 4th build date, latest version. In this video, we will be seeing the benchmark results. Everything will be explained regarding this ROM and what all the updates. has been received whether it comes with latest security patch or not everything will be explained and it's put it into ros so let's begin this video hey hi hello welcome back to my new video guys this is sampati watching sampath sam fx youtube channel and this is the poco x3 i have indian variant 6gb 128gb version surya here i have flashed the ros version 12 based on 5th February 2022 security patch and the kernel you can see here the kernel used here is 4.14.267 arrow gbc a86 ec b7 kernel has been used and this is the march 4th build date and also kernel we are not getting march security patch but anyhow it's an latest build and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last 10 minutes 29 seconds you can see here the scores are pretty good maximum is 106 average is 100 minimum is 90 but there is no cpu throttling it has written here as throttle to 93% of its maximum performance A little bit throttling is there but definitely and i want to tell you one thing regarding aros watch my first video ever made on aros based on this i mean for poco x3 you can check out there i told like this is the most underrated rom for poco x3 you can definitely watch that video and coming into settings i'll go within a while before that these widgets are working fine you can drag and change here from pressing like this you can change the different types of clock widgets and this is how the quick settings panel you get in this rom under the power button you get all these options and into edit section you have some of the options plenty are given i already added few of them and let's see whether screen recording feature yes it's there and there is option to record both device audio and microphone many people ask about that it's present and regarding google photos you get unlimited storage there is no problem regarding that also let me increase little bit of volume okay let's see in the dialer into the dialer there is a direct video call feature available in this rom no need to worry regarding that and i am using jio sim and there is a call recording feature but the other person will definitely notice that you are recording the call that's how the call recording is available in this rom and also i want to know let me know that comment down guys in the comment section that you use this three button navigation or if you comfortable with gestures do let me know in the comment section below and coming to camera application you get google go q 
camera basic things can be worked fine here but if you want something advanced you can use this kind of gcam ports i am using arno build gcam it's working fine no problem regarding that as you can see it's working fine just if you want you can use any other gcam ports also and this is uh, arno build gcam port the print of gcam ports are available and as of now it's still not available the anx camera port i don't know when it will going to fix and coming to safety and status here also it get passed fortunately so yeah it get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay you know sbi everything will be working fine no problem regarding that even whatsapp is also working fine you can definitely try it out as a daily driver many people watching my ros videos frequently and regarding auto brightness sensor it's also working fine no problem in that also and even the earpiece quality and even the headphone jack quality all are working good let me show you the charging animation and regarding charging speeds it will be better just you need to wait a week or so then only actual charging and battery life will be estimated for any custom arms you should wait for at least a week then only you will get the actual battery life of any custom rom it's fine the idle battery drain will be very very less compared to any other roms on this poco x3 let me show you the app settings you get all the basic settings default apps you can choose from here and that's option is still there i'm convenient with gestures but just to showcase you i kept the navigation buttons and notification settings you get all the options bubbles conversation everything is working fine coming into battery settings as you can see battery usage has been recorded fortunately and screen on time is 1 hour 15 minutes i was set up ping up and installing games and running the benchmark results it was fine and i kept for 15 minutes idly you can see here the idle battery drain is also less compared to any other customers and you get battery icon styles here this is all the customization you don't get separate customization here it's simple enough from many people because of that they like it i don't know do comment down in the comment section below and coming to sound settings you get all the basic settings you can use these things like vibrate and connect call waiting and disconnect you can enable or disable from here even the touch vibration haptic feedback also you can enable or disable from here coming to me sound and answer it's in direct sound settings you get headphone type and preset type you can choose from here it's also working fine no problem regarding that coming to display settings you get adaptive brightness as i said before it's working fine and brightness level is given and lock screen settings as you can see printer given ripple effect for small clock show device controls and advanced settings you get ambient display it's also going to work fine no problem regarding those things double tap to sleep on lock screen is given font size you can adjust from here display size also you can adjust and monet engine you get custom color option and some of the other options you can check out here night light is given and colors you can choose here keep it little bit boosted because in my video it looks a little bit better if you want you can keep whatever you like and minimum refresh rate and maximum refresh rate screen saver tap to wake status bar items and lcd features are included in this rom coming to dark theme that i really don't know when this and at all roms get that presets of dark themes like pitch black condition like that i really like that but it's gray but i don't know when it get fixed coming into wallpaper sun style you get plenty of wallpapers no unfortunately you don't get any wallpapers here pre-installed but if you want you can use any third party wallpaper applications which are available in play store and app grid size 4 into 4 and 5 into 5 is available and if you want to root your smartphone you can definitely do that using magix manager and that's also working fine then you can install the pixel wallpapers also that's not a big thing and accessibility menu it's given it's an handy feature to have in any custom rooms you can see here volume up and down without using the actual buttons you can adjust them that's an handy feature i always keep telling that but it's how many people ignore that but it's an handy feature and plenty of options are included here and coming to security section there is no face unlock as of now and encryption and credentials the rom is encrypted that's nice privacy settings location all are working fine here as you can see and passwords and accounts and system settings into the gestures let me keep first the 
guest apps go to settings there is no option just there is a guest app bar enable or disable that now i am comfortable to use that smartphone i thought how it would it would be when i use the actual navigation bar it is little bit difficult and advanced restart button is available you can enable from here there is a top options that's basic things this is the settings panel and uh, let's see the android benchmark results here in this room the ros latest will 2,73,636 the temperature raise is 1.1 degree celsius and the battery drop is 2 percent there is a little bit of I mean degree Celsius increasing and battery of using because of summers are going on and charging speeds are also going to decrease don't worry it's how the temperature plays the role in charging speeds and battery life you would get better life very good in this summers that you keep in mind and this is the antidote benchmark results and coming to geek bench scores here the single score and multi score is not that good i run twice but it's how it is it's just ignore the benchmark results but just to showcase you i will show you and actual performance you will be seen in bjm game plan swiping and using day to day task it's fine really good no problem regarding that and coming to drm info here you get level one certification as you can see you can watch all the ott applications in hd resolution that's not a problem in this room let's see the bjm game plan wind out the video. and coming to game settings you get basic smooth plus ultra and hd and high if you want you can use gfx tool to enable higher fps count 90 fps is the highest for poco x fine the performance is fine no problem this angle a little bit difficult for me because i am sitting exactly 45 degrees to the camera angle it's a bit difficult okay i'll come back this is how the pgm gameplay it's definitely playable and don't judge uh, like this gameplay can improve or anything like that i mean don't think that in the classic matches also the same performance you can get it out like that don't think like that it may vary and also it may vary depends upon your network connection also as you can see i have here wi-fi connection of geo giga fiber let me show you as you can see it's pulling up to 90 to 95 mbps i have 100 mbps plan even this mobile data connection is also it's working fine 4g plus i mean the carrier aggregation all the things are working fine i hope you like the video if you like the video give it a like and uh, this is sampath signing off and thank you for watching guys if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button down below make it black it's in red color and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and uh, that's all guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling Bye-bye for now.